I happen to think balance is a very important uh, trait or quality you want to develop. And, and here's the way I think about this. We, tonight, we could talk about virtually any topic. We could talk about the situation in the Middle East. We could talk about North Korea. We could talk about the, um, the current U.S. presidential situation. We won't go there. I won't do that tonight. Uh, virtually any topic you can think of, immediately people have very strong opinions. Very strong opinions. And what I've realized over time is that people with very strong opinions very often have little understanding of perspectives other than their own. They understand their perspective, but others forget it. And the second principle for me is that in addition to being self-reflective, a very strong person with good values literally takes the time to understand as many sides of the story as possible, right? Um, and by the way, I, I got a little better at that over time because when I first started teaching, I said, the leader of values takes the time to understand the other side. And one of these bright students said, does that make the assumption there's only two sides? That's a great, there's multiple sides to the story, right? Or the other way, you may have heard it, uh, Stephen Covey, the fellow who wrote about seven habits, actually, I think he stole this from St. Francis, by the way. Uh, it was a quote of the value-based person literally takes the time to understand before they're understood. That's one of those things I think about every day, right? If, if this is my team of people and, and uh, Dave says, Harry, you'll make the final decision, I'll make a much better decision if I say, hey, what did you think? What did you think? What'd you, wait a minute, say that again, Dave. Say that. Did you hear what Dave said? I think that's it, right? Because most really good leaders, they don't worry about being right. They're, they're trying to do the right thing. Right? And by the way, David's only going to tell me what he thinks if, I actually, if he actually believes I really want to know. Right? So that, that ability to be able to see many different perspectives as opposed to, well, I understand my perspective. Well, that's great, but if you're really trying to be an open person uh, and you're really trying to be reflective, I think you really have to understand multiple perspectives. I think that's the only, the only way that's going to work. Right? So that's the balance piece.